a residual value, scrap value. Even in own fund, lease fund, both you are supposed to minus. How to find out WDB means your last return down value minus last depreciation, you will get your WDB. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here. Lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing your session one of your unit four, that is corporate tax planning. Under corporate tax planning, we are discussing topic called tax planning and managerial decisions. I'll tell you whatever things comes under this unit so that we can proceed with problem number one and problem number two for this session. Your agenda, problems on purchase of asset by own fund or borrowed fund. Now, in this what happens, you are supposed to remember like, you have to purchase a mobile. So, now what is the price of the mobile? Assume that this is 50,000. What is the price of the mobile? 50,000. There are two options are there. You already, you have 50,000 in your bank. You go pay that 50,000, buy. This is called own fund. Second option is what? No, I don't want to spend that 50,000. Instead of spending in mobile, you can spend somewhere else. You can deposit in bank. You, have, you can invest in share market. You can invest in insurance. You can invest in your business also. There are many options are there, but one more option is what? Go to shop. Take this 50,000 mobile on loan, any Bajaj card or any uh, loan facility, your credit card facility, anything you can go for that. So that will be second option, borrowed fund. What is your work? What is your job in this? Your job is very simple. This is better or this one is better. You should go for own fund or you should go for borrowed fund. Which option is best? That you are supposed to tell. How do you tell this after doing calculation? How much marks you will get from for this? You will get two problems from this unit. One will be 15 mark, one will be 10 mark. And which are the concepts will come very simple. One will be own fund or borrowed fund. And next one, own fund or lease fund. Next one, make or buy. So these are the options. These are the topics which we are going to work on. And also we have higher purchase and installment purchase. This is not much important actually, but these are the things which are very important for your exam purpose. Now, so we'll go with your own fund and borrowed fund in today's session. Next session, we'll go with own fund with lease fund. Now, this is your problem number one. I'll explain you the simple, it is as simple as you understand. Now, SSC wants to acquire an asset costing rupees 10 lakh. I gave you an example of mobile 50,000. Now it is what? You want to purchase asset worth rupees almost 10 lakh. Now, the life of the asset is five years. After five years, the asset will no will asset will not exist. The value will be zero. Remember, now will be discarded and sold at depreciated value. The rate of depreciation is 15%. What is the depreciation? 15%. Then Marginal rate of tax. Remember, in this problem, they have given 26, but every problem, the percentage will change. Sometimes they may give you 30%, sometimes they will give you 35%, whatever given in the question paper, that tax percentage we are supposed to take. The present value is 1 at a rate of 10%. What is your PV factor? 10%. There are two options are there. What are those two options? Like, own fund or second one borrowed fund own fund you have in your bank take invest borrowed fund you have to borrow from your friend from your cousin from your somebody and you're supposed to pay 12 percent interest 
Now, where interest is to be paid annually, every year you are supposed to pay, principal is repaid to the year 5. Up to 5 years, the uh, whatever the amount, 10 lakh is with you only. At the time of 5th year, you repaid that 10 lakh. Hope you got it. At the end of 5th year, you repaid that 10 lakh. Now, in this what happens? Up to this, you understood. Your PV factor, you got all this. So, these are the tax. What is the better tax planning? You are supposed to find out. Hope you are clear. Good. So, what you are supposed to do now? We are doing your own fund. The format, remember, first column year, second column cash or return down value. I'll tell you what is that. Next column depreciation, PV of tax saving. PV, PV in the sense present value and the last column present value of net cash outflow. These are your columns in case of own fund. How many columns will come for own fund? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total you will get 5 columns. What is the first column? Always starts from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, how many years problem? This is 5 years problem. We don't have space here. Year 4, year 5. Hope you are clear. You are done with the first column. Now, I'll go to second column. Now, as I told you, we are doing what? Own fund. Your own money. How much you are investing? 10 lakh you are investing. Your investment is 10 lakh. How much is your investment? 10 lakh. Hope you are clear. Good you got investment of 10 lakh. Then what happens? Every year you are supposed to calculate depreciation. You invested 10 lakh, you bought machinery. So, uh, will your machinery will remain the same value? No. Every year depreciation you are supposed to calculate. How do you calculate? They have given percentage. What is the percentage? 15%. Now, 10 lakh multiplied with 15%. They have done calculation here, 1 lakh 50 thousand. Second year, what will be the value? 10 lakh minus 1 lakh 50 thousand, it will become 8 lakh 50 thousand. On 8 lakh 50 thousand, calculate 15 percent, done. So, 8 lakh 50 thousand into this, 1 lakh 27. So, from 8 lakh 50 minus 1 lakh 27, you will get 7 lakh 22. Similarly, minus 1 lakh 8, you will get like. So, similarly, every year you are supposed to minus. If you minus, you will get your answer. Hope you are clear. WDB value in the sense, every year you are supposed to minus. Now, so every year you are supposed to minus. These are the depreciation and a fourth year and a fifth year. Hope you are clear with column 1, column 2, column 3. 6 lakh 14,000, 6 lakh 14,000 into 15 percent, 92, 118. 6 lakh 14 minus 92, 118, you get 5 lakh 12, uh, 22. 5 lakh 22 minus this, you will get 78, 300. What is the closing WDB? 5 lakh 22 minus 78, will come later for that, okay? Now, column 1, you are clear. Column 2, you are clear. Column 3 also clear. Remember, column 2, column 3, we do it simultaneously. Why? Because 10 lakh into percentage, you will get 1 lakh 50. 10 lakh minus 1 lakh 50, 8 lakh 50 you will get. Okay, hope you are clear. Yes. Column 3 also you are done. We'll go to column number 4. What is column number 4? PV, present value of tax saving. How much you got now? 1 lakh 50 you got. Right? 1 lakh 50. Yes. What is the PV factor? 0 0.909. 0 0.909. What is the tax percentage? 26%. Take 26%. Multiply. You will get 35, 451. Similarly, 1 lakh 27. This answer. Multiply with PV factor 0 0.826. Multiply with tax, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got 
this. Hope you got it. Yes. So this much only your own fund. Hope you got it. Only first column, second and third we do it simultaneously. Fourth column, multiply with PV factor, multiply with tax. If you are done with this, you are done with your calculation. I will add how much you will get. We are supposed to add your column number 2. You are supposed to add your column number 4. Now, I will add one by one. So, how much it is? 35, 451, 27, 381, and 21, 161. Then, 16,358, 12,642. I got 1,12,993. So, no need to add, actually, it is already there. Last one is 5,22,6. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, we are done with this. What is your WDV? 5,22 is your last residual value. Now, 5,22. What was your depreciation for last year? 78. So, your final answer is 4,43,705. Hope you are clear. Yes. Up to this, you are done. I will again, I will repeat this. 5,22 minus your last year depreciation. At present, what, what is the value of your asset? 4,43. Total present value of tax saving is how much? Now, you got total of 1,12,993. In this, your investment is 10 lakh. Yes. What is your PV factor? 1,2. 10 lakh minus 1 lakh 2, you got 8 lakh 87 4. Simple. What is your investment? 10 lakh. What is that savings? Your total of column number 4. Your investment minus your savings is your answer. 8 lakh 87,000 4 rupee is your answer. Now, now I'll go for your borrowed fund. We are done with your own fund. Now we are doing what? Borrowed fund. Borrowed fund number of columns are more, but easy. Now, remember, I'll mention the columns here. This is column number one, column number two, column three, column four, column number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. These are the columns we have. Now, if you calculate this, First column will be what? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, your asset life is how many years? Only 5 years. If you go for borrowed fund. Life of the asset, 5 years. Now, so how much you are paying your interest? Very simple. You are paying interest of 12% per annum. How much loan you have taken? 10 lakh. 10 lakh into 12%? 1,20,000. 1 lakh 20,000, 1 lakh 20, 1 lakh 20, 1 lakh 20, 1 lakh 20. Not only 1 lakh 20, you are repaying the 10 lakh also. So total you are paying 11 lakh 20. I will give you a simple example. I have taken 10 lakh loan from you. Up to 5 years, I will not pay even 1 rupee from 10 lakh. I will pay only interest. How much? 12%. First year, I will pay you 10 lakh into 12%, 1 lakh 20 I paid. Second year I paid 1 lakh 20, third year I paid 1 lakh 20, fourth year I paid 1 lakh 20, fifth year will you accept only 1 lakh 20? No. You ask me for the 10 lakh also. I, I am supposed to pay 1 lakh 20 as interest and 10 lakh as a principal. Total I am supposed to pay 11 lakh 20,000. Now see, 11 lakh 20,000 you are paying. You are clear. Yes. Now you are supposed to calculate depreciation. Don't calculate again. Already you calculated. Go back to your answer. Your own fund. 1,50,127,1,8,92,78. Like Already you calculated. Copy paste. 1,50,127,1,8,92,78. Same thing you are supposed to copy and paste. Now, next. Interest plus depreciation, 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5. So, interest is your outflow, depreciation is your outflow, 
Now, 1,20,000 plus 1,50,000, 2,70,000, plus 1,27,000. So this has to be changed. I'll change that. Yeah. Now in this, what happens? 1,20,000 plus your 1,50,000, it is 2,70,000. Correct. What is the second one? 1,20,000 plus 1,27,500. Your answer will be 247. 500. Now, this must be 247,500. What is the next one? 1 lakh 20,000 plus 1 lakh 8. 1 lakh 20,000 plus 108375. I got 2 lakh 28, Similarly, for the fourth year, 1 lakh 20,000 plus 92,118.75. I got 2,12,118.75. And the last one is 1,20,000 plus 78,300. I got 1,98,300. So now what you are supposed to do is up to this you are done. The next procedure will be this multiplied with your tax rate. Now 2,47,500 multiplied with your tax rate is almost 26%. It is 70,200. Similarly 2,47,500 multiplied with 26%. I got 64,350. Similarly, you will get just multiply tax. What is the next one? 4 minus 7. What is your 4 here? Now see, this is your 4 minus 7. So this minus this. 49,055, 60 and 64, 849. In this, you need not to remember any formulas, but you need to remember the columns, which minus which. That's why I have given column number along with the shortcuts also I have given. Work out two to three times, you will understand better. Now, so similarly, if you go for last one, PV factor, multiply with this, you will get this, 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 this. These are your answer. Now, if you total this 45, 268.2 plus 45, 966.9, 45,527.5 plus 44, 291.95 plus 6 lakh 63, 502.33. I got around 8 lakh 8 lakh 44, 5, 57 I can take. So, this is my answer. How much I got? 8 lakh 44, 5, is my answer. Now, 8 lakh 44, 5, minus we have scrap value also. I'll show you that. They have told that the life of the asset is 5 years and will be discard. Discard means sold and sold at a depreciated value. Whatever depreciated value is, is there, that only they have considered. Like, what is your depreciated value? 5 lakh 22 minus 78, 4 lakh 43 is your depreciated value. Now, 4 lakh 43, 705, but 4 lakh 43 is what? 5 years back. Now, what is the value? After 5 years, you have to go with PV factor. What is the PV factor for 50 year? 0 0.621, yes, 0 0.621. If you multiply, you will get 2,75 minus you will get 5,69,000. This is what? Lease fund. If you go to borrowed fund, own fund, 8,87. If you go for lease fund, 5,69. Which is better? This is. Which is not good? This one. Accepted? 
rejected. This problem, just one problem you will not understand. You may have little confusion in this. That's why the same problem you are supposed to work out again and again. Unless and until you practice, you will not understand this problem. Now, second problem is there. Just I'll explain you. You are only supposed to do. I'll not work out that. Problem number two. See, the asset value is how much? 5 lakh. Life of the asset, 5 years. Residual value, scrap value. Even in own fund, lease fund, both you are supposed to minus, remember. 15% per annum, additional depreciation 20. Additional depreciation applicable only for first year. Only first year, your additional depreciation will applicable. Means, first year, 15 plus 20, you are supposed to calculate 35%. First year, 15 plus 20, you are supposed to calculate 35%. Now, what is the PV factor? These are your PV factor. Now, SSC has two alternatives like own fund, RS, they can take 1,50,000 at 12% interest, which is better, will go for your not lease fund, borrowed fund. You can go for own fund, RS, you can go for borrowed fund. Now, own fund is simple. 5 lakh is your investment. 5 lakh into what is the percentage? 5 lakh into 35%. 20 plus 15. First year. 1 lakh 75. 5 lakh minus 1 lakh 75. So you will get 3 lakh 25. Again, on 3 lakh 25, calculate 15%. This minus this, you will get this. This minus this. Same procedure, nothing changes. Then, so we'll calculate one by one. We got 1,75. Now, all the depreciations are done. What is the next procedure? PV factor. We'll calculate. So, you are supposed to calculate your PV factor on 1,75,000. And what is the PV factor? I'll show you. I'll give the working note here. It will be easy for you. Your working note is 1,75,000. Yes. Into 26%. Yes. Along with what? What is the PV factor you have? I'll show you that. PV factor is 0 0.87. 0 0.870. So if you calculate how much you will get, 1,75 into 26% into 0 0.870. I got 39,585. So don't consider this. Consider 39,585. Yes. This is only your answer. Similarly, I'll do it for everything for your understanding purpose. Now, what is the second one? 48. 750. What is the tax percentage? 26. Then, what is the second one? 0 0.756. 0 0.756. Similarly, 41,437. Multiplied with 26%. Multiplied with what? 0 0.658. 0 0.658. Hope you are clear. Like this, you are supposed to calculate. So if you do not understand this properly, nothing to worry. Again, in the offline classes, again, we'll explain you. And But try to understand by working. Then only we'll understand better. Now, similarly, if you do all this calculation, you will get these things. And your total will be how much? Your total will be 65, 363, this one. 65. 363 is your total. So this is all your own fund. I'll show you the answer. So how much you have? 199,000. Last year depreciation 29,000. We are supposed to find out WDV. How to find out WDV means your last return down value minus last depreciation you will get your WDV. 1,99,000 plus 29, your WDV is 1,69,000. Now, so how much your investment? 5 lakh. What is your discount? 65. 5 lakh minus 65, you got 4,34 as your net 
cash outflow. Hope you are clear. Yes. Similarly, if you go for borrowed fund, simple one, you have taken loan at a rate of percentage of how much? 12%. 12% on 5 lakh. So it will be like 5 lakh into 12%. So what is your investment? Yes, 5 lakh on that 12%. How much it will be 12%? It will be like so purchase the asset by borrowing from NSC 1 lakh 50 at 12%. 1 lakh 50,000 into 12% interest per annum where interest is to be paid annually and the principal paid at the end of the year. Now I'll calculate. I get 18,000 as interest. Even though the value is 5 lakh, you have taken loan how much? 1 lakh 50,000 on that 12 percent. So you can take 1 lakh 50,000 into 12 percent on this calculation. Yes. So your interest is 18,000 and depreciation already you calculated in the previous one. Same depreciation copy paste. Yes, 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 yes. Same thing. Now what is the total of these two? 193, 66, 59, 53, 47. Multiply with your tax. Multiply with your, this will be what? Your actual column number 4 minus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is column number 4. 5, 6, 7. This is column number 7. 4 minus 7. You get all this. Multiply with what? PV factor. PV factor is already given, multiply, you will get this answer. Now what is the answer? Easiest one, 488 plus 4675, so 2381, yes, 77301, yes, minus 27997. I got around 56,848. 56,848. So 56,848. Now what you are supposed to do is analyzing our analyzing part will come later, but understand how to do this table. Next problem we'll do completely with analyzing part. Now what you are supposed to do is how to do your own fund and how to do your borrowed fund. This calculation you are supposed to learn. Learn this calculation. What you are supposed to do is read question properly. Do own fund, small calculation, borrowed fund. This much only you are supposed to work out in your class book, okay? So please work out this. In the next session, I'll go with another two problem with a complete problem of your question paper. In today's session, just I'll make you to understand what is your calculation, how to calculate own fund, how to calculate your borrowed fund. But next class, you will understand better. Why? Because all the basics you have in the first session. Thank you.